What's going on today guys, Lego Man 213 here, back bringing you a new video. So this is the final good, we're good to go, um, review on my Mandalorian figures. So I've got total 23, I actually did include one more of those battle pack figures. I won't review those figures because they're just straight Lego, you guys know what they are. This one I just don't have the cape on. But yeah, you guys, you guys know what those figures are. So I have two green, no, three green helmet ones, uh, two of the blue helmet ones, and one silver helmet and one orange helmet one. So yeah, you guys know what those figures are. But what I'm gonna do, I will first of all, Sabine Ren, Din Djarin, uh, my two custom painted ones, and then. Uh, Bo-Katan and the Mandalorian Loyalist. Those guys I'll do together. Uh, Boba Fett will be by himself. Uh, Pre Vizsla and Gar Saxon will be by themselves. These two will be together. And then Bo-Katan and her Night Owls will be together. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so taking a look at my two Sabine Wrens. The one on the left is my custom one that I painted myself and basically went off of photos and what I've seen in Rebels Season 1. So she is the Season 1 version of Sabine. And then the one on the right here is concept art that I saw on Google. It's, um, it's based off of Season 1, I believe, but it's a combination of all the other seasons, if I remember right. But it, can she in the photo, the concept art, she's got her cape. It's like kind of tattered, torn. It's like a blackish gray, and she has the dark saber. And I just, I saw that. I'm like, oh, that's dope. I want to make that in Lego. So, again, nothing too crazy. You guys have seen these figures before, at least the one on the left here. I don't know if I showed you guys this one, but it's a figure I got off eBay. It's not Lego. It's probably like building blocks or something. Uh, the rangefinder. Even though it's not Lego, it's very more detailed than Legos. If I were to compare the two, Legos is, is yeah. Uh, the Darksaber, it's the same design that I did for Pre Vizsla. The only thing different about it is the hilt is actually in the front. It's angled, and it's more squared off than the one for Pre Vizsla. You guys will see that when I showcase Pre Vizsla. Uh, she does have arm printing on both sides, and then the cape is just that. Uh, filter fabric type thing that I used the cheesecloth and I just painted it black cut it tore it a little bit gave it that tattered look and then the jetpack I got I stole that from one of the uh, 501st Mercari figures I got off Mercari uh, I actually didn't steal it he they weren't using them it was just in one of the cups I have of a bunch of Lego items and I was like hey jetpack I'll use that uh yeah the sabine run on the left the custom figure the hair piece is official lego uh that i just i mixed paint together to match the dark orange best i could and it, it actually turned out really well because the lego one she's got more dark orange in her hair than she actually has for the lego version so i wanted to kind of capture that better so i think it turned out very well um yeah the arms are the same uh, color as her face and then I just painted them uh, painted like the shoulder pads and the wrist gauntlets and all that like, I painted everything else uh, the, same with the legs and then her holsters the straps on the sides are just their paper painted them uh, trimmed them up a little bit and then glued them on I'm not too happy with those but I think they work well so like if I wanted to use blaster pistols if I were to fi actually use Mando pistols from Clonomy Customs they actually do fit well and then her helmet is one of the uh, battle pack helmets from the Mandalorian battle pack and then I just painted everything on there uh, it didn't turn out the best but it works well for what I wanted it to the paint when I was using it it was a little uh it was kind of watery almost and it ran just a little bit in certain areas so i wasn't too happy with that but i think it turned out pretty well so yeah let me put those figures away we'll move on to din Djarin and uh those two all right guys so taking a look at my two din Djarin figures these are the only two that i have the first one on the left i got him in the atst set the one from uh i believe it's i don't remember the exact name of the episode but it's basically where raiders are attacking a village and he him and the rebel dropper are there and they rescue everybody they save the village uh, so i got him in that set 
He's in his OG armor, I guess you could call it. Uh, again, this figure, just a black head because we don't know what his face looks like. No arm printing. He does have bike. Blah, blah, blah. He does have back printing as well. Looks very good. Uh, decent leg printing as well. And that's basically it for him. A pretty plain Jane when it comes to that character in that time frame. Uh, next up, this figure I got in Boba Fett's Slave 1, the newest rendition. Um, again, I have that Boba Fett figure as well. This is the uh, Beskar armor Boba Fett. So he's got very good arm printing on both sides. Looks very, very good. I do like that Lego added arm printing for this figure. Uh, again, the leg printing, very nice. No side printing, but he does have... I can do this, maybe. Does have back printing, so very nice. Again, this figure does not have a printed face. It's just a full black head because for some reason Lego didn't offer that. But other than that, very nice figure. I like the look. Uh, the helmet could use some work because I think, in my opinion at least, the Lego helmets should be updated at least. They're still using them based off of... Uh, Jingle Fat and Death Watch, so a little bit, you know, they could update that, but overall, I like the figures. They're very nice. They look good in my collection, so especially the, the Beskar Armor one. So next up, I will do... I'll do the official LEGO ones, and then I will do the custom, and then I will do the CAC figures. All right, guys, so taking a look at the next two official LEGO ones, I have uh, two more, and then we'll be done. So the one on the left is Mandalorian Loyalist. The one on the right, obviously, Bo-Katan. These two came in the newest Mandalorian Starfighter set. Uh, I have yet to actually review said set, but we will when we get there. Uh, this figure, no, we don't know what his face looks like, so we just got a plain black head. Oh, well. Decent um, decent printing for the torso and the legs. He does have back printing, but there is a backpack or a jetpack on that. So, oh well. The helmet, I love the helmet. Looks very good. I like, it's kind of like a dark gunmetal gray kind of. Kind of reminiscent to Din Djarin's OG helmet. Uh, yeah, he's got dual blasters. Very good printing. I like that the jetpack as well is gunmetal gray, so it kind of... It blends in, but it doesn't. So it's not like some plain white one they threw in, or it's just black. They actually changed it up a little bit. And then bo she does have a hairpiece, but it's over with the set. But she is a dual-sided face. Angry, and then kind of just smug. Her helmet is very nice. It is very, very detailed. I love the... It's kind of like a sky blue, kind of, almost. It actually matches well with her her hands down there. Very good arm or uh, chest printing. It's very reminiscent to me of the original Django Fett. That shiny kind of chrome look. But very good leg printing. And she does have back printing. But again, there is a jetpack. So, yeah. And this set, it did come with rangefinders and everything. I just gave the rangefinder to her. And I didn't give it to the Mandalorian Loyalist. Just because I wanted to. But overall, those two figures, I really like them, and I think they are worth the money if you can pick that set up. So, yeah, moving on to the other two official LEGO Mandalorians. All right, guys, just, so really quick, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to do these two together. Gar Saxon, he came in the same set as Bo-Katan and that Mandalorian Loyalist, but this figure is basically, it's printed it's colored in gunmetal gray, and then there's printing on top of that. So it looks freaking amazing. Uh, I like the molded-in horns. They actually changed up the helmet for this figure. Looks amazing. I like it. So the helmet has the molded-in horns. The yellow visor looks really good. I like the red with the gunmetal gray. And the chest as well looks good. You guys can get a better look at that. Decent leg printing as well that into focus and uh yeah he does actually have a face as well but no hair piece but he does does have a face but no dual-sided face and he does have a jetpack but 
the back printing is covering that up as well. And I just, I'm in love with the helmet. It looks really good. But yeah. Next up is Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett. So he's in his black uh, Tuscan tunic. And then he's got his Mando armor on top of that. Uh, the only thing I guess you could... I could complain about is the helmet and that is it doesn't quite match color wise to the uh, chest plate or uh, colors but that's just me nitpicking he's got really good arm printing on both sides he's got the uh, uh, mythosaur skull on the side there on the left and then he's got his wrist gauntlets and all that very nice figure and he does have a new face. It's uh, basically a clone trooper face because, you know, Django or Boba is a clone. But he's got that the smirk on his face that he kind of has throughout the show on occasion. Looks very good. And then he also has his jetpack. And they actually included really good printing on top of the helmet as well. So, yeah, those are the all official Lego ones. Next up, I will do Pre Vizsla and then I will do the CAC figures. All right, so taking a look, this is my custom Pre Vizsla. If you're wondering about the hole in the helmet, that is because he was originally, many years ago, a Boba Fett keychain. So I ended up, I was able to get the keychain unscrewed, and uh, yeah. The face is actually, I believe, a Pre Vizsla face. I could be wrong, but I believe that is Pre Vizsla's face. Uh, the helmet, fully painted by me. I went a little too crazy on the one side with hot glue, and uh, yeah, that happened. But these are just paper clips that I cut to size to kind of resemble the, I guess, I think they're range finders or antenna that are on his helmet. I gave him a custom dark saber. I custom made the jetpack just out of toothpicks and I believe Lego bars. I could be wrong, but it is actually removable. And then there's his back printing as well, kind of. You can kind of see it. So I think it turned out pretty, pretty well, pretty good. I did give uh, the metal shoulder pads, painted them up in that kind of dark gray color that he has going there. And uh, yeah, overall, I do like the figure. I like making him. I plan on getting the Clone Army Customs version, the tech version. That's like the most accurate. So be staying tuned for that. That'll be kind of complete my CAC collection for Mandalorians. But obviously, I don't have all of them, and I will eventually. So yeah, that's it for the custom figures. Moving on to the CAC figures. All right, so taking a look at the first two CAC figures. Uh, the one on the left is a male uh, tech Mandalorian. And the one on the right is a female Mandalorian, white. Both are white. I saw these figures. I didn't order them at the same time. I just picked up this one and the one other one, but this guy I've had for a little while. The Tech Mando, this is what I was talking about with, uh, I was going to, I'm going to order Pre Vizsla. So the Tech will give these weird antenna rangefinder looking things. Um, I ordered them with the dual Mando blasters. Very good 360 printing all around. The jetpack printed as well. Very nice touch. I like that. No face detailing at all. I ordered him with a black head. It's the cheapest way to go. And then, uh, yeah, he's got leg printing. 360 printing, actually, on CAC figures now. Just looks really, really good. If you want a really neat, kind of unique Mandalorian figure, get the white tech. He just, it, it's really cool. I like it. It's just, it's got it. Uh, yeah, and then I got the female white Mando. I gave her, I don't think I actually ordered the blaster. I could be wrong. I don't remember ordering the blaster with the figure, but it's kind of like a shiny chrome, silvery color. Again, same jetpack style. I believe it's actually the same. Yeah, same jetpack. So it looks really good. This is the white female version. She's got really nice 360 printing again. It's Clone Army Customs. You can't get anything really better than them. And, uh, yeah, I really like this figure very much. Uh, really good. Again, if you want something unique, order both of these because they just look that good. Next up are the Bo-Katan and her Night Owls. All right, so the last three figures are Bo-Katan and her Night Owls. Uh, there's 
uh, Noel and Ursa Ren and Bo Katan. The uh, they look really really good. I wanted to kind of get the night owls that you see in season seven, and I, I got them. So the first one I bought was Bo Katan, and then I believe I ordered her with the white tech Mando. I could be wrong. But I ordered bo first, then her. She's the newest, including the white female Mandalorian that I have as well. Again, these guys, all 360 printing. Very nice, very detailed. I love it. Looks very good. I like the helmets more so than I do the Lego ones. They're just, I guess you could call it more accurate. They're a little big to me when I first saw them. I'm like, man, them helmets are kind of big, but they, they look good. I like them. The jetpacks are all... The same. They're all that weird kind of like dark light gray. But th I like them. They look good. Again, 360 printing on all the figures. Um, they all have the Night Owl insignias on the shoulders. On both sides actually. So that's a nice touch. Very good detail. And uh, yeah, those are the figures. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free. Comment that down below. And I will do the outro. Actually, guys, I do apologize. I completely forgot about these two. So the one on the left, the newest one, as you guys saw in the YouTube shorts, again, like I said, I'm not too sure how I feel about these figures. Um, the paint was very, very watery when I did the visor for the one on the right here. Uh, again, that's why it looks the way it does. Um, if it hadn't been so watery, I think it would have turned out better, but I used a gunmetal metallic for the gunmetal color. I kind of wanted to combine a little bit of like a commando Mandalorian with a little bit of Gar Saxon with a little bit of Mando Dinjarin. So that's what I got. And then this guy is just, I got bored and painted him. He's not the best, but it's what you got to do. Well, yeah, those are the only other two. All right, so taking a look, just finishing up, wrapping up the video. You guys saw basically every single figure that I have from Mandalorians. Turn the flash on, there you go. I got Sabine Wren, Din Djarin, the Night Owls, Bo-Katan, Pre Vizsla. So you guys, you guys see what I got, Boba Fett. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm kind of contemplating doing an army build with these guys. I found some stuff that they're not Lego, but they're Lego compatible. So they're basically like building blocks. I'm kind of thinking of doing something. I think you guys will like it. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, i kind of planning on doing something with that. And I have to finish that. And yeah, Lego Man 213. Out.